From gold rushes to tech booms, throughout history there have been many investments that made people incredibly wealthy. But what made those investments so successful and what lessons can we learn from them? Our first example of a profitable investment is the California Gold Rush of 1849. In January that year, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill and the news of the discovery spread like wildfire. Within a year, 300,000 people had flocked to California to try their fortune at finding gold. In the end, over 750,000 pounds of gold was extracted during the California Gold Rush, worth in today's money over $16 billion. So what can we learn from the California Gold Rush? Well, one lesson is the importance of being in the right place at the right time. The people who made the most money during the Gold Rush were the ones who got there early and staked their claim on the best mining spots. Another lesson is the importance of taking calculated risk. Many of the people who came to California during the gold rush, they had to give up everything they had to make that journey. But for those that struck it rich, the rewards were worth the risk. Speaking of risk, one of the riskiest investments of all time also proved to be one of the greatest opportunities to generate wealth during the dot-com boom in the late 1990s. During this time, investors poured billions of dollars into internet-based companies many of which had never even turned a profit. The market was wildly hot for companies like Pets.com and the grocery delivery company Webvan. Unfortunately, these companies had no clear path to profitability, but were still able to go public and raise millions of dollars in capital, which was subsequently lost when the companies went broke. So what can we learn from the dot-com boom? One lesson is the importance of understanding the market, company, or asset you're investing in. Many of the companies that went broke during the dot-com bust they had no real plan for making money. Investors were too caught up in the hype to see the warning signs. Another lesson is the importance of being diversified. Many people who invested heavily in tech stocks during the dot-com boom, they saw all their fortunes disappear overnight when the market crashed. The day that the dot-com bubble popped, when the NASDAQ reached the then all-time high, then saw one company after another implode and get destroyed. This resulted in the internet sector free falling in value over the next two and a half years. When the free fall finally ended on October 9th of 2002, the NASDAQ had lost 78% of its value. It would take almost 17 years for the NASDAQ to reach its dot-com bubble high. However, there were some companies that came out of that dot-com bubble that turned into profitable and successful companies, including Amazon and eBay. That dot-com run up in value and the resulting bust it teaches us that we don't want to have all of our investment capital in risky, unproven assets. It's okay to invest a small portion of your capital in speculative companies that you think have good potential to be a big win for you, but you never want to invest most or all of your capital in unproven investments. From total speculation in the dot-com boom to an investment you can see, feel, and touch, and even kick is real estate. Over the years, real estate has been a popular investment because it has the potential to generate steady income through rental properties and actually to appreciate and go up in value over time. So what can we learn from real estate investing? Well, one lesson is the importance of location. Real estate prices can vary wildly depending on where the property is located at. And investing in a property in a desirable location can lead to significant profits over the long term. For example, when I first started investing in property in Florida over 20 years ago, my partners and I decided that we would only buy property that was close to or at least had a view of the water. Now why? Because most people that are vacationing or living in Florida, they want to live on or near the water or the beach. We knew that this type of property would always be in high demand, which meant that long term, its value should go up since there was a limited supply of it. So if you're thinking about investing in property, remember to consider the location of that property carefully. You never know, you just might find your own little piece of paradise. Another lesson in real estate is the importance of due diligence. Real estate investments that can be complex, and it's important to do your research before buying a property. This includes understanding the local housing market, analyzing the property's potential rental income, and assessing any potential repairs or upgrades that may be needed. From an investment that you can see, feel, touch, and kick, to one you can't see, feel, touch, or kick, but has been extremely profitable to invest in for some people over the past years, we switched to cryptocurrency, and more specifically, we'll talk about Bitcoin. Since Bitcoin's beginning in January of 2009, it's generated a lot of buzz, and has seen massive gains in value. In 2021, the price of one Bitcoin soared to right at 65,000 US dollars, making one of the most profitable investments of all time. So what can we learn from Bitcoin investing? Well, one lesson is the importance of understanding the underlying technology. 
Bitcoin is based on blockchain technology. This technology is special because no one person or company controls it. Instead, it allows people to make transactions securely and transparently. Another lesson is the importance of being diversified. While Bitcoin has the potential for significant gains, it is also a highly volatile asset and investing all your money in Bitcoin, it can be very risky. A fifth and one of the most probable investments of all time was when a Swiss art collector purchased a painting by Paul Gauguin for $118,000 in 2003. Now fast forward 12 years, in 2015, that painting sold for $300 million, making it one of the most expensive works of art ever sold. That's a return on investment of over 250,000%. So what can we learn from this example? First, it's important to do your research and invest in something that you believe in. Gauguin's painting was a unique work of art that has significant historical and cultural value. The Swiss collector that purchased it in 2003 saw that value and paid up for it. And in the end, they reaped a reward for such a smart investment. Second, it's important to be patient. The Gauguin painting took years to appreciate in value. It's tempting to want to make a quick profit, but the most successful investors are those who are willing to wait for their investments to mature. Whether it's being in the right place at the right time, like during the California gold rush, understand the market you're investing in, like during the dot-com boom, considering the location and doing your due diligence like in real estate, researching your investments and then patiently waiting on them to mature like the Gauguin painting or understand the underlying technology and diversifying your portfolio like Bitcoin, these lessons can be applied to any investment. Remember, investing always involves risk and there's no guarantee of profits. But by studying the success and failures of past investments, we can better understand the factors that contribute to success and make informed decisions about how to invest our money. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. There's so much talk about artificial intelligence right now that I decided to let YouTube suggest a video of things you will like here at the top right corner of your screen. Please let me know if that was a good suggestion. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.